Scientists say they've discovered a blood test that can detect breast cancer DNA months, they say, before it would show up on medical scans. Dr. Siegel, can you get this now? And how important is this? You cannot get this now. Okay. It's in early stages of research, but the research is extremely promising. It's coming out of London, this study. They looked at 55 people, and they first analyzed the DNA, Eric, that was abnormal in the tumor itself. They took early tumors, and they said, here's what the mutations are, because all cancer has mutations. It has DNA that went awry. The cell's machinery is going awry. That's why you get this rapidly growing tumor. So they isolated it, which is expensive, and then they did a, created a blood test to follow the blood of these women to see if the breast cancer recurred. The blood test is cheap. The initial analysis of the tumor is expensive. Now, here's what they found. Of the 15 people that had recurrences of the breast cancer, they found it early in 12 out of the 15. And the other three had had spread to the brain where they may not have been able to find it in the blood anyway. You know what that means? That means in the future, we may be able to know that breast cancer or any cancer is spreading before it actually spreads. We may be able to predict it and give treatment in advance. This seems like the type of thing that might be even a watershed. And looking into the study, one of the things they also said with, were that the test revealed if something was drug resistant to mutations, if That's the cancer right. was drug resistant. Is that a big part of this as well? Well, just for, it is a huge discovery. And when it comes to our clinical trials, it, it, it can change has potential to change the way we practice medicine. For a lot of people, just so that you understand what's going on here, for diagnosis, we're now doing a biopsy and we're removing part of the tissue. So if you want to get liver biopsy, prostate biopsy, breast biopsy, we're sampling a tissue. Now we're talking about the liquid biopsy, meaning that these cells from cancer cells are floating in the blood. And just getting a, a, test, a blood test, we are able to see if those cancer cells are actually floating in your blood. Can to go they, back can to- Can they do that right now? Well, that's, that, this test is not available now, but it's gonna come in the future. Now, we have talked about metastases. What happens when the cell actually leaves the first island or the first organ, floats through this river, which is your blood, and lands in somewhere else, and so we can detect metastasis earlier. We can find those mutations. If you give, let's say you do surgery or you do chemotherapy, is our treatment really working or not? Is there recurrence in the blood that we're not able to see? Now, on the other side of this, we're checking with CAT scans and MRIs. That's why, for example, I removed the prostate. We're going to find out if somebody has a problem by getting a bone scan or CAT scan or images. But what if the cancer is not big enough to show up on the CAT scan and it's just floating in the blood? Now you will be able to do it through this liquid biopsies, which is, I think, a big discovery. I want to, uh, to emphasize one point here, is that if I knew in advance that a cancer was going to come back in someone, I might institute immunotherapy or chemotherapy or radiation therapy in advance and prevent it from ever or, actually coming back. Or even change the regimen that you're using. Exactly. In case exactly. That, which is what you were trying you to bring up. up. Yeah. More exactly. advanced, if more aggressive. A, if there's a mutation... Now we can change exactly what our treatment option is going to be and say, look, this chemotherapy is not going to work for you. We're going to have a different plan. Yeah. This is a game changer for it, us. That's the drug-resistant part you're pointing out, right? Right.